Okay, the next step now is that we got it working. The next step is let's look at the controller and start coding there. So these are the labels that we have here. This is the mouse clicked event. Anytime we click any one of the events and let's close this for a second. I just realized I forgot to add on the event for the button. So let's go to open up a scene builder. And I have it open here and let's go to the button. Uh, let's go to give this an FX ID. I'll call this BTN um, reset. That's the reset button. I'll even add a text here for to reset. Whereas the you know, I could just type it here. Reset. Okay, I always like to save every few seconds. Okay, let's click here. When they reset, I want to click on the button to indicate that they're resetting. Oh, on action. Okay, I'll call this uh, on reset. Let's save it. Well, I want to. Uh, Let's change this to tick tac toe. Let's censor that. Okay, let's save it. That's good. <clears throat> Since I made some changes, I have to grab the difference of what I had from before. Oh, you know what? I had nothing there before, so I'm going to just grab all this stuff because I didn't do any coding yet. So let's do Control C and let's go to the controller. And it's almost almost the same thing. So I'm going to just overwrite everything here because I haven't coded anything here yet. Save it. Import the button. Make sure it's from Java FX in this case. Save it. And this is the code I copied from the controller. And close this. Uh, I'll, I'll minimize this for a second. Let's save this. Why is this complaining? Games controller is complaining. Oh, I need to import the job FX version. Save it. Let's look at FXML here just to see if it matches that up. I'll do Control Shift F so I can format this a little bit better. There goes the on reset. So let's actually code that real quick to see what happens. And I'll first let me click on this first. Let's do events. I'm sorry. Label is equal to L. I'll say for now. I'll do a downcast to a label. Let's do an event here. Now let's see why. Oh, because I have to downcast it from the output of the get source method. And then I'll say here L set text is equal to x. Let's save it. Let's see if this portion of it executes. Let's go to the main. I'll run this as a job application. The window came up. Let's click on x, 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 x. Okay, so that portion works. Right, cool. With that, good luck and good coding, and uh, we'll continue this in the next video.